So part of the reason this loan used to have a bad reputation was in the old days, let's say he was 65 and she was 55. Lucky guy, right? He married well, she's taking good care of him, etc., etc. Well, in the old days, they would go off of his age, close the loan in just his name, but when he died, the loan was due. And you'll be shocked to know that HUD got tired of class action lawsuits by displaced homeless widows and changed it. And a couple of years ago, they changed it. And now instead of going off of his age, they go off of her age, which means they might have to put a little bit more down because of the life expectancy of her staying in the house to be age 100 and title is put in both names. She's not on the loan. Who cares? The loan doesn't have a payment and it'll get settled up whenever she sells the house. All right, so that problem has been completely fixed. She's called a non-borrowing spouse. So they'll go off of her age. She'll, be, she'll do the counseling. She'll sign a few forms at closing. She's put on title and if he passes away, she can stay and she's still on the title. Questions on that? For as long as she lives. As long as she lives. Pursuant to the decedent's estate. Right, yeah, but obviously under a normal circumstance, you know, he's a previous financial planner. Don't hold it against him. Okay, that's all I can say. 